What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for PlayPicks.com, TheLines.com. Going to talk to you about Monday Night Football between the Chargers and the Chiefs. While you're here, please hit that subscribe button. Please give us a thumbs up on the video and let us know in the comments how you are playing this game. The more comments we get, we're going to start doing some cool things on the channel. So maybe even some uh, gift card giveaways and different things like that. So be sure and take advantage of that. Of course, written uh, content for this Monday Night Football game over at TheLines.com. You can see right here, you just go to the NFL and click in. And F, you will get this breakdown that you see on your screen right now. Same deal over at PlayPix. Juan breaks down the game top to bottom here from a written standpoint, so you can take a look at all of this stuff for free. Look at the lines real quick. As we sit here on Monday morning, want to give you the most recent lines. Don't want to give you stale lines out there. So we're sitting at four and a half, 52 and a half at DraftKings over at FanDuel, sitting at four and a half, 52 and a half over here as well. So this is kind of where we're at right now. Of course, as always, if you want to go see how this line has moved, DraftKings does let you do that. Click on stats and click on betting trends and you can come down here and you can check out how the spread and the totals moved. You can see this thing was down at four and 49 and a half uh, a week ago and has been bet up as high as 53 at DraftKings where it settles right now at 52 and a half. You can see the point total here opening up at four and you can see it's just toggled all over the place here to the four and a half that we sit where it is right now, bottoming out at three and a half about a week ago. So it hadn't been available very often uh, for you to get that number and has been at four and a half here for a long time, nearly a full day. As you can see, 17 hours it's been there. I'll click here if you guys want to kind of read along. This thing's in Mexico City. So if you know about how that works, the stadium is 7,200 feet above sea level. That is 2,000 feet higher than the stadium over there in Denver. So altitude is big. It's going to allow for longer field goals to be attempted. It's going to maybe affect these guys' cardios, maybe specifically the defense. Uh, defenses tend to wear out, obviously, quicker than offenses do. So uh, something to keep in mind there. Now, the Chargers did go and practice at the Air Force Academy uh, in Colorado this week. So they were trying to get acclimated to the altitude there. Chiefs, 6-4 and four overall, 5-5 five and five against the spread, 2-4 and four in their past six games, including that loss to the Titans last week. Chargers, 4-6 and six overall, 3-5-2 and two against the spread. Huge win over the Packers two weeks ago, then they lay an egg to the Raiders last week. So you kind of know how this Chargers team works, up and down, up and down. Chiefs injuries, Kendall Fuller and Damian Williams are both questionable for the Chiefs Chargers. Standout tackle Russell Okung, doubtful. Big time loss there. It looks like the Chargers can be without several offensive linemen in this game. I'll scroll a little bit here if you guys want to continue to read along on your screen. Chargers offense, 28.4 points per game, 419 yards per game, 6.6 yards per play. They are passing the ball 65% of the time. Seventh graded pass blocking unit by Pro Football Focus. Twelfth graded pass offense by Pro Football Focus. Over on DVOA, the number one pass offense in the entire NFL, averaging 328.5 pass yards per game. On the other side, uh, they're running the ball, 17th rated run blocking unit, 27th graded rush offense by Pro Football Focus. Of course, they don't run the ball very much there. As you can see, they pass 65% of the time. 21st ranked rush offense DVOA. They go for about 91 yards per game on the ground. Overall, the number two ranked offense as a whole DVOA, they convert 45%, 45.2% actually of their third downs. The Chargers offense, and I will flip over to I'll flip over to Juan's breakdown here on there if you want to uh, read along. Chargers, 20.7 points per game, 368.4 yards per game, 5.8 yards per play. They pass on 62.8% of their plays, 31st pass blocking grade according to Pro Football Focus. You're going to see a 28th graded run blocking unit according to Pro Football Focus. So you're looking at an offensive line that can be gotten to here if you're uh, if you think that maybe that defensive uh, Chiefs defensive line can win the battle here against a pretty bad offensive line. Of course, missing Russell Okung as we just mentioned here, they're getting 282.3 uh, passing yards per game through the air. They're getting 86.1 on the ground. They are converting 44.5 percent of third downs. If you're wondering how the pace of this game could play out, Chargers. Operate at the second slowest pace in all the league. Chiefs are actually sixth 
in situation neutral. So you got one fast team, one slow team. So maybe a few extra plays getting run by the Chargers in this game because the Chiefs run uh, such a fast pace. And maybe the Chiefs a play or two uh, fewer in this game considering the Chargers run so slow. On the defensive side of the ball here, Chiefs allowing 23.9 points per game, 393 total yards here. That's two. That comes by way of 245 through the air, 148 on the ground. So a uh, rush defense here, pretty much a problem for this Chiefs team. 29th rated defense overall, according to Pro Football Focus, 23rd coverage grade, 17th DVOA overall. But they do have the fifth ranked DVOA pass defense compared to the 31st ranked DVOA rush defense. So you can see you want to run the ball against this Chiefs team as opposed to pass. Opponents converting 37.6% of third downs, 5.6 yards per play. The Chargers here on defense allowing 19.4 points per game, 334 yards per game. That is 223 passing and 110 rushing. Number 20 rated, de- rated defense by pro football focus here. They uh, only have the 19th graded pass rush, 18th in coverage. They are tied for sixth fewest sacks in the league, shockingly enough, this Chargers team. 26th ranked defense DVOA, 21st DVOA against the pass, 26th DVOA against the run. So you can see this Chargers defense has just not been very good this year. Riddled with injuries all year long, pretty much like this whole Chargers team in general. As a whole, giving up 5.5 yards per play and allowing 43.8% of third downs to be converted. Not good when you are facing a team that is also very good on third down in the Chiefs. So let's flip back over here and let's make a case for the under if we want to. Doesn't matter where we bet this thing because as we pointed out earlier, 52 and a half at both sites here. Although we did just see this point spread move to five as we were sitting here filming this video. So there we go. Uh, On the move for the Chiefs. Money coming in on the Chiefs over there at DraftKings. Anyway, this thing moves to five as we're recording the video. Uh, Let's make a case for the under. A case for the under. Maybe this altitude affects these guys a lot, you know, and not just on the defensive side, but on the offensive side as well. Maybe these field conditions are going to be horrible. There's a lot of unknowns here playing in Mexico. If you remember, they were going to do this last year and they couldn't even do it because the field conditions were so incredibly horrible. So uh, there's that. Will we see the version of this Chargers offense that for four straight games this year didn't score more than 20 points in a game? There's a lot of things that maybe could go on from that standpoint. Also, Case for the under could be the way you attack this Chiefs team is on the ground. So maybe the Chargers can get to can string together some like some of these long drives. You know, I mean, we've seen uh, several times in the NFL some of these teams that are going after these uh, teams with bad rush defenses. They put together these six, seven, eight minute drives. You know, and I mean, just clock killing drives and a point killing drives as well. So um, one way we could see an under here in this thing. Now, a case for the over, of course, is just the fact that, hey, Patrick Mahomes is back. Patrick Mahomes has now a couple of more weeks to get even healthier here. You're looking at a Chargers defense that ranks towards the bottom of the league in every single statistical category. And, um, and you're going to, uh, and you're going to have a, a team that is averaging 29 points per game so far this season in, in the Chiefs. And so you look at the Chargers. Do you think that the Chargers are actually going to just going to get shut down by the Chiefs? I actually don't. I mean, listen. Even if they don't find success there, they, they should find success on the ground. This Chiefs team. One thing they have done lately is give up points. And so I um, I don't think that the Chargers are going to be shut down in this thing either. Here, 52 and a half. Still a hell of a lot of points in this thing. Let's look at some game props here and some player props that I'm looking at. Uh, First things first here, I'm looking here at a kicking prop. And I know you're like, what the hell are you talking about? But uh, longest field goal, 46 and a half. As we mentioned, they are playing at a stadium that is 7,200 feet above sea level. We have seen bomb field goals in Denver, right? And they're also not afraid to line up from longer whenever they play in Denver. Well, this is 2,000 feet higher than in Denver. The ball should be able to fly, according to reports. Now, we haven't seen this with our own eyes, but according to reports, a 70-yard field goal in the stadium is very doable. Like, a 70-yard field goal is capable of being kicked in this stadium here. So, 
it would not surprise me to see either one of these teams at least attempt longer field goals than they normally would considering the conditions here. So uh, I think we'll just have the opportunity here for a longer type field goal, especially maybe towards the end of a, you know, end of a, end of a half or something like that or whatever. But it, so anyway, just, I'm going to play the over 46 and a half here. Not for tons, not for tons, but uh, I think that this is something that is fairly likely to happen uh, in this game on a player prop side here. Anytime touchdown score is 134 for Damian Williams. Again, I think that the Chiefs are going to score points here as we were talking. Kind of, kind of, I was kind of alluding to. And so anytime touchdown score, I like, you know, I like uh, laying the juice there. It's fine. I'll pay the 134 for Damian Williams. As we saw, LaShawn Le- McCoy was a healthy scratch last week. So they've pretty much moved to Damian Williams as the feature back in the backfield here. So Uh, Feeling pretty good about that. And then, as we mentioned, the Chiefs, this is not in my account yet, but I just wanted to point this out in case you wanted to play this. Uh, Rushing yards. As we mentioned, the way that you attack this Chiefs team is on the ground. They're giving up 140 yards a game on the ground, I believe it was that we said is right now. So, yeah, 148 yards per game on the ground. So you're looking at Gordon and Eckler here with these rushing props of 70 and 25. I'll probably end up getting one of these two. Maybe I'll dig in and see what are what's the likelihood of Eckler getting over 25 here and Gordon over 70. Maybe get, I don't know, maybe I'll get one or two of these in there. But uh, Chiefs, give it up on the ground. Uh, these, these certainly seem like attainable numbers for Eckler and Gordon here. All right, let's talk about the side and total here, guys. I mean, full disclosure, not going to be playing this thing um, at five or four. There's just so many unknowns. I don't like to play unknowns. I don't know anything about this field. I don't know how the altitude is going to affect these these guys. I don't I don't know what the crowd is going to be like. I, is this going to basically be like a home game for the Chargers because of uh, being in San Diego and, and you know San Diego being such a popular team in Mexico? I, I don't know. There's a lot of things that I don't know about this game, and so typically in those type of situations. I tend I, I don't really like betting the, the 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 spread here, so I'm not going to do that. What I did what I do have in my account is the team total for the um for the uh for the chiefs here uh chiefs i have the over 28 it seems like it has moved to 28 and a half but even at that number i'm still okay with it um you're looking at a team here that has averaged over 29 points per game so far this year you are getting a bad defense in the chargers you're getting a healthier mahomes you are getting a guy that is um pretty much carved up gus bradley's defenses in the past here Uh, 8.2 yards per attempt against uh, Gus Bradley defenses, six touchdowns to no interceptions for Mahomes. And of course, just uh, as I mentioned, just a little bit more time for him to get healthy here. So uh, feeling okay about this. I mean, the hook kind of throws it a little bit, but I don't still don't hate it here. The over 28 and a half. Uh, Just again, full disclosure, I got it at 28. Um, So it seems like this thing has moved a little bit. Um, hopefully you guys get involved in this thing. Hopefully you guys get involved in some of these uh, props here. I do really like those props that we talked about. I think that's a fun way to get involved in the game, but uh, I'm not going to go overboard in this game. Too many, too many things that I'm not sure about when I'm not sure about, I'm, I'm smart enough to know what I'm stupid at. at. And so I don't want to uh, get involved in things where I don't really know anything about the conditions in the stadium and how things are going to play out and how these, you know, the altitude is going to affect these guys and stuff. I'm not a doctor. I don't, you know, all those deals. And so for that reason, I'm uh, not going to splash too hard in the pond here, but I am going to have a little bit of action for the stuff that we talked about. Guys, please subscribe to the page. Everything's free as always. Uh, please give us a thumbs up on the video and let us know in the comments how you want to play this thing. I mean, this is uh, maybe there's something you see that I'm missing here. Of course, free write-ups over here on the lines and play picks. And as always, if you want to uh, get involved at any of the sports books around uh in basically any of the states now, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Indiana, all these different sites, uh, be sure and head to the lines. We have the very best deals that you can possibly get on any of those as far as sign-up bonuses and things like that. So take advantage of that too. Appreciate it, guys. And we'll see you guys back here for early Lions video.